Strikes are expected to hit our state schools next month. Teachers and education workers are pulling out all stops to reverse cuts to budgets and jobs. They're organising a rally followed by a march to Parliament House on April the 1st and they're urging parents to join them. Jeff Parry reports. A rally in September last year to stop the cuts drew about 15,000 teachers and education workers. Sixty schools had to be closed for the day. The unions expect its April 1st rally to be much bigger. We think a lot more parents will be coming because, you know, 2014 has started. Parents are seeing the effects of the cuts. With 500 job losses, a cap on teacher numbers and some school budgets gouged of hundreds of thousands of dollars, parents groups say students are suffering. There's a window of opportunity coming up in May, the May budget, and what you don't ask for, you don't get. Education Minister Peter Collier says the unions are causing unnecessary disruption. Our schools are the best resourced schools of any state in the nation. That does not come about as a result of an accident. Critics of the rally point the finger of suspicion at the timing of it. Just a few days before West Australians go to the polls to vote in the April 5 Senate election. We have been looking at doing this action for quite a long period of time and we're not in control of when the, the Senate election has been called. The protest starts at Langley Park at 10am, followed by a march along St George's Terrace to Parliament House. The unions say the government could stop the rally and school closures if it really wanted to. Our message to the Premier is put the money back in schools and this will all go away. Jeff Parry, 7 News.